guys, this is Super Show for another episode of Why You Should Listen To. This is a show where I have, I listen to a variety of music, and I, lo- I listen on Spotify, and there's this guy, this group's Spotify streaming numbers are incredibly low, but the music that they've created has changed the world, and you don't even know about it. I'm here to tell you right up front. The title of this video suggests why you should listen to Kraftwerk. Now, you're probably saying, well, what the hell is Kraftwerk? What, is, what are you talking, is that a hot dog? What's going- no. Kraftwerk is a German band from that was from 1969 to 1983. They took a break, but they ba- they were inducted into the Rock and Roll Fame in 2021. They've been touring since 1986. Hear me out for a sec. When you think of new wave bands, the Psychedelic Furs, Simple Minds, you think of um, Depeche Mode, you think you know what I mean, like stuff like that. Kraftwerk was one of the pioneers of that. They're from Germany. They still tour. They're doing a tour in the U.S. apparently in 2022, which is exciting. Um, they were inducted in the Rock and Roll Fame last year for being an influence on many genres of music, including hip hop, post punk, techno, house music, and club music, synth pop. They are incredible. I don't have any of their albums on vinyl. I don't have any of their songs off the top of my head that I can list, but I can only tell you what they sound like, truthfully. Craft work, and I'm, I'm so glad I do this show on YouTube. I'm so glad I do this to an audience, you, the viewer, to understand and realize that there's other a variety of music out there. And I, I texted a friend of mine the other day. I said, hey, you should listen to craft work. He's like, what's craft work? I said, you like Muse? Yeah. You like New Wave? Sort of. You like synthesizer? He's like, what do you mean synthesizer? Do you like 80s synth? Or do you like modern synth stuff? Like news, like modest mouse stuff? He's like, yeah, why? I said, do me a favor. Go on Spotify and listen to just one Kraftwerk song and you might be hooked. Um, they have, they were a pioneering group in the 70s of, but this is before New Wave hit the US. This is like, Post Pink Floyd, post like, you know, like, um, like uh, Human League, like they, they they were a big influence on those bands, but they were formed in 1969, and truthfully, their style has still had a ripple effect since then. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video in the first place is because I heard them on U2X Radio at one point. One of the Bono's 60 songs that changed his life was, um. You two um, was a craft work song, and I'm like, what the hell is craft? And I did my own research. I'm like, oh my god, this group is really darn good. They have a lot of different variety. They do different things. They do a ton of different styles of. They've they've influenced different genres, not just gen- not just generations of people. They've not just introduced like they, but they've changed music as a whole. And if you want to get into like seventies. Truthfully, 70s or 80s synthesizers and keyboards and, you know, just a different style of just plain old computerized music, early computerized music, truthfully, 60s, 70s, 80s, pre, like I said, pre Tears for Fears, pre Simple Minds. You want to get into like really good synth music and really good beat music, beat driven music before beat driven music was even really popular, like in in the late 90s, 2000s, look at Kraftwerk. Kraftwerk is an incredible band. Um, I have only heard of them recently because I've been listening to U2X Radio on Sirius XM and I hear them a lot on there. Um, and I, I, I don't know any of their songs off the top of my head. I don't know any of their albums off the top of my head. But I, just, I did a little research and I wanted to say that you guys should listen to Kraftwerk because if you like music today, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Like, I'll give you an example. Maroon 5's Jordy was terrible. Jordy by Maroon 5 was a terrible album. But if you like that type of sound, like that tropical pop house, that trop, that pop that we have today, like the beach of like club music type of stuff, Kraftwerk was one of the origins of it. Truthfully, if you've never heard of Kraftwerk, which I'll, I'll, by having only less than a million monthly listeners on Spotify, or just over a million monthly listeners on Spotify, having cra- having heard Kier Kraftwerk every month, that should tell you something right there. But they are the origins of it. Of beat driven, extensively listened to music. Um, I cannot emphasize this band enough. 
So bottom line, there's not much else to go off on. But if you want to listen to more like different, this is a completely different style of music that's very much like synthesizer driven or beat driven that has influenced tons of, and I mean literally possibly hundreds of artists, thousands of artists, Kraftwerk is one of them. Check them out. Check out their spot. If I just search Kraftwerk and it's going to come up with like a red logo. It's called C. It's called um, the spelling of it. Forgive me. Is C A C R A F T W E R K. Craft work. W E.